Hello and welcome to Soul Priorities. My name is Tuwaka Kelly and I'm pleased to welcome my first guest to the show, a wonderful man from Croatia, Dr. Bosho Radek. Please correct me if, if I'm slandering your name. I want to make sure I get my Slavic right. Welcome. Thank you very much for your invitation. Your pronunciation is excellent. All um, right. Everyone from Hedera, yeah. <laughs> Very good, very good. Thank you so much for being here. I am fascinated by, by nature, by bees, by your work and your work with bees. And I, I'm excited to talk to you about uh, your, your research and, and your family company and, and what you do. Um, the kind of major things that people are familiar with when they think of bee products, generally speaking, are, are honey. And, and perhaps pollen, but I, I think kind of branching out, you know, propolis is beginning to emerge into consciousness and even kind of, you know, more intriguing or rare is bee venom. So I'd like to, uh, you know, explore the, the medicinal properties of these wonderful gifts from the bees with you. Yeah. Well. Um, bee products are very well known from east to west and in, uh, from long time ago. Uh, usually uh, people know only about uh, honey and maybe pollen, of course, but there are six, uh, six bee products which are very helpful for uh, humankind and, uh, and they all have some medical properties. Uh, my field and my company uh, explores mostly uh, propolis, bee pollen, and royal jelly from Dalmatia, Dalmatian Croatia, um, from which bee collects from Mediterranean herbs. And uh, actually, uh, my our company uh, was founded in 1988, and it started by with, by my father, who is a chemist, and he was also fascinated with nature and um, all what nature has and what can be helpful. Uh, for us, and he started with propolis, and uh, and we 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 are now present for more than twenty years on the market, and and there are many things which which has to be done, especially nowadays when bee colonies are uh, decreasing, and there is many uh, many attack on the nature. I would say that that's a good that's a good point. How? Um to, to that, how can people help support uh, or raise consciousness around the, the health and vitality and sustaining bee life, which effectively sustains our life? Um, that's a very good question. I would start with the quote which said famous uh, physician Albert Einstein. He, I paraphrase, but he said that if we disappear, human life will disappear in four years, approximately. Uh, importance of the bee is because of pollination, of course. They are the, uh, the, the biggest pollinators uh, on the earth, and uh, the, their colonies are decreasing, mostly in uh, Western, Western uh, countries, Europe and US, but that's also present uh, on the East. Uh, what um, th there is there is a struggle on the on the in the Europe especially, but in the U.S. as well uh, between lobbies. Um, now, what people can do? People can raise their consciousness about the importance of bees, and uh, especially because of use of pesticides, which are very harmful to the bees, and um, and. Uh, just a few months ago, uh, European Food Safety Authority raised one important ban uh, for not using three pesticides which uh, done many harm to the bees and they are related to the, their decreasing. I would say that the uh, farmers uh, have, uh, must know uh, the importance of the bees and, and carefully uh, uh, use pesticides when they are when they are doing that on their farms. That's the first step, at least. Yeah. 
And that, that is a, a step, an important step, and it, uh, it's, it's nonsensical in a, in a way to, to use pesticides on, on anything, especially something that, you know, takes care of itself. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, you know, the properties of propolis, for instance, but with pesticides in your own company, your company is uh, biological and organic, as I understand it. Yeah, that's correct. We we uh, we are from the start. We try to be unique, not not only because of to be different from other companies, but what we believe that only mm, holistic approach to the complex substances like bee products, especially propolis. Um, uh, uh, propolis has more than 300 molecules, different molecules inside, and propolis is mainly a product from the herbs. Uh, they are preserved by, uh, from the herbs, and which we collect and uh, put in their hives to to protect their hives and to protect their small bees larva. And and uh, for the propolis, it's very important that it's clean, that it's pure and that it's uh, not treated with any chemicals uh, because uh, that can do harm to the people. Our company started uh, with uh, propolis in specific way. Uh, we, we needed five, approximately five years to invent a know-how process, uh, technological process to preserve all biological substances from the propolis, which is very important to have full medical uh, uh, medical properties uh, uh, to the uh, human organism, and 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 that was that was our start, and that's how our first product was invented, and we believe that only that way, full full spectrum of propolis can be preserved and achieved, and of course uh, bees are very important in that process, so we are very concerned about current situation. <laughs> <laughs> an integral part of the process. They're the ones that make it. <laughs> They're the only ones that make it. And when um, looking at, uh, you know, different farmers and companies, and you're also in the research and development, um, you know, team, you know, kind of uh, in, in your company, one of the things I noticed that I would say distinguishes you, that makes your family company, company unique is there there isn't a specific focus on isolating any one of those 300 molecules you know such as cake for instance where I've seen you know other companies like you know isolating and extracting this one ingredient and and kind of perpetuating inflating you know the benefit of that one ingredient but you know you know I'm thinking okay uh, work with me here. Okay, I'm a bee, right? Queen <laughs> bee, work. I'm a bee. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, and I'm doing my dance and I'm communicating with the other bees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, right? <laughs> doing the thing. I have my three mile radius, you know, outside the hive, whether it's a man made hive or a natural one. Mm -hmm. And I gather and collect, or if I'm the queen, the workers gather and collect, you know, how that is. And come back and going through the process of turning the propolis, turning all of these, uh, my collection into a beneficial product of propolis to literally protect the hive from bacteria, from virus, from fungi, from mold. You know, as a bee, I'm not, you know, on my lunch break with <laughs> my fellow bees saying, you know, I think this one molecule out of the 300 is more beneficial, so let's just ignore the other 300. <laughs> well, you know, you're correct. Right? <laughs> In the position of the V, that's an excellent approach, I would say. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm thinking. I want the whole, I want the, I want the whole enchilada, if you will. <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's understandable what our companies around the world are doing. It's a typical pharmacological approach. Um, uh, it's more easier to find one active substance from the complex and to isolate it than synthetically uh, produce. 
that's a classical uh, pharmaceutical, I would say, approach because it's it's expensive in the start, but in the end, it's the cost benefit very very good approach. But yeah. especially for uh, business, etc. But when looking back, trying to I would say imitate the nature. The nature made all those substances for specific reasons. Or maybe we don't know all the reasons, but those 300 molecules in the complex are important, all of them. Not only one of them, not only cape of flavonoids or galangin or whatever, crisin or what other substances are trying to be isolated. Yeah. But, and what is more interesting that when isolated, even then they don't have the full spectrum of activity like the full complex. Yeah, and that full spectrum of activity is full spectrum of vibration. I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah that influences all of it. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. And, and that, that is very complex and there, is, there are many legislative problems with when you're not, when you are not isolating something, because it's very hard to uh, uh, to maintain the standard, the standard procedure. Um, but but I think that's the only the, the only right way to have something which is not harmful for the mm -hmm. human without mm -hmm. side effects, and to have the full spectrum of uh, of activity. Yeah. It's harder way. It's a much harder way. But I think we. We are on the step two, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long time. Yeah. All right. I have um, so I have, uh, some insight to my own process and how I came to find you. And um, much of my education, it comes from the downloads and the messages I receive from the universe. I receive from my guides. I receive from source. And I have been spending... Um, a considerable amount of time with my computer these days. I'm doing a lot of writing, so more, more than usual. And when I'm in places where there's EMF or computers or machines, I'll, I'll have conversations, energetic conversations with these things and code them to shift the vibration that makes it more harmonious for me. Um, that being said, there's still, you know, all of this radiation and and my guide said propolis to, to protect the nervous system. And I knew nothing about propolis, to, to be honest with you, you know, pro propolis. And, um, and, I, and I go look it up and, you know, I Google the word propolis and all these, you know, results come up on the search engine and I see yours and I don't speak Croatian, but I'm like, this is where I'm to go. <laughs> you know, Google Translate. <laughs> and, you know, and I'm looking at these benefits, you know, propolis, you know, antibacteria, all of these other things, protecting the hive, and then we get to radiation. And it's like, wow. And then I contacted you, and, and this full spectrum aspect is like, you know, just being led to go, you know, to connect with the, the medicine, the people, the, the company, the cause, you know, that, that, that synergy. Um, also kind of reflects, you know, what the intention that your family is doing that began with your father, the chemist, 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, so, you know, kudos to you. I'd like to move on to some of your other products, which could be exotic. Um, bee venom. I mean, you don't milk a stinger. There are no udders. <laughs> You know, like whose job is it to get the bee venom? <laughs> well, uh, bee venom is actually not our focus, but it's a small part of our business. But um, bee venom usually collects a uh, beekeeper. It's not so complicated nowadays to collect bee venom. It was much harder before. Uh, uh, the the biggest issue, tricky issue with the bee venom is potential allergic reactions to it, because yeah. it's very potent, and that's why it has a strong a strong uh, uh, effect. But as as uh, as in as in life, there are, there there's the when a bee sting them, they get a strong reaction, 
and that's why that's why the B venom is um, it has to be when dealing with B venom you have to be very careful. Uh, but there are many excellent, especially anti-inflammatory properties of B venom uh, in the area of um, arthritis. There are new experiments on uh, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, mm -hmm. and there is also popular use in cosmetics for uh, wrinkles. <laughs> so, the, the, this is, I think, the area which will be more and more opened, especially now when people are more and more conscious about, uh, uh, about B products. And when they have less, I would say, believe in, in classical uh, a, a pharmaceutical approach. Yeah. That's, uh, that, that is uh, fascinating, you know, like, oh, you do it. No, you do it. <laughs> Go get the bee venom. No, you do it. <laughs> Drawing straws at the factory. <laughs> All the farmers saying, you know, <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> but, um, it, 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 seems, it seems very simple because there are six B products, but if my, my, my uh, personal field is mainly propolis and royal jelly, uh, if you want to be very good in it, understand it very well, uh, try to be, uh, try to done uh, it truthful with, um, to get what you really need, then you need a lot of time and many experiments and many, um, many job with the beekeepers. You know, that's, you, beekeepers are mainly uh, from rural, uh, rural field, fields of our country. They are not well educated. So we started first doing, uh, 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 giving lectures to them how to collect bee products, how to preserve it, how to put it in storage, on which temperature, to wash their hands before using, etc. Now yeah. there is, it's a whole process practically. So, <laughs> and we are very young and not very big company. We are small company, so it's so sometimes hard to, to, to achieve all that, yeah. Sure, sure. Um, we have a question from a viewer asking about um, mm -hmm. if there's a recommendation from someone in the United States uh, that that has these yeah. products. And um, you know, you may have another answer. I'll give mine straight off the bat that mm -hmm. this particular quality of propolis, the the well, only one I have found is is with your company. <laughs> to, to be fair. Um, but but uh, maybe you uh, have colleagues in your circle that no, are no. growing I, I, propolis in the U.S. that you can recommend. Um, well, well, uh, 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 there is a huge difference between uh, uh, East and West in this approach. In the United States, uh, propolis is unknown. Uh, it can be found in in some pharmacies and herbal shops, mainly from Brazilian companies. companies. Yeah, are exporting to US uh, uh, mainly, but um, I think now, especially this years, this year in 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 Walgreens on or um, uh, CVS, it can be found some products of propolis, but it's extracted. It's chemically it, treated. Yeah, it's extracted. Again, we talk about isolation, and there's going to be questions about you know if it's organic or wild or biological. You know, if there's other, you know, synthetic things in there. So I would say um, the good thing about your website for English speakers is there are language tabs. Yes. <laughs> so uh, to our to our listener, I would say just go to um, the website, and I'm sure your company is happy to to ship to them there. It's a really excellent product. I've experienced it. So. Um, my, myself, energetically, physically, I've taken it. It's really, um, it's 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 concentrated. It's it it it, it does the job it's, it's set out to do. Please give your website. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, our website is like our company's name, Hedera. It's H E D E R A dot H R. Hedera dot H R. H R is yeah. from. Hrvatska, Croatia, yeah. Yeah, I, I, would, I would say, you know, go to an expert. And, and this company has been, you know, developing for 20 years now. And, and the thing about uh, mastery and expertise is 
that's the mindset of always developing, always developing, and really being in a relationship um, with nature, which is, you know, I, I, my sense is that that's really the, the backbone of your, of your family business, is how to be in relationship with nature and how to bring, bring this forward in service so that everybody is, is, is harmonious with this multi-spectrum vibration. Yeah, you beautiful said it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what we are trying to do. Practically, we are trying to, I don't know how to put it correct in English, but transfer what B uses to the human in one capsule. Unfortunately, the, the worst part of our product is practically the capsule, but there, there's no other way. Um, the, uh, I would also emphasize that our products don't have any any uh, uh, additional uh, uh, products, additives like colorants, aromas, gluten, anti-caking, bulking agent, which is very very hard in this kind of uh, in this kind of process. So yeah. we did six years. That's but but to, to be uh, to be recognized that the end user recognizes the the product and 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 feels it. It has to be that way. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That that full that full spectrum. Yeah. Is 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 really what uh, brings it forward. You know. Well, you know. Again, going back to the bees. <laughs> going back to the bees. Um, your, the website again is h e d e r a hedera uh, dot. I want to say punt. You know, punt <laughs> dot uh, h r. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so uh, so go there and and check that out and um, in, in in enjoy it. <laughs> it's it's really good stuff. Um, the I would maybe the propolis that you have. You mentioned capsules, and sometimes that that can be tricky. And I know a lot of nutraceutical companies try to make them without binders and sterates and uh, these things that you mentioned. How was it to, uh, to, to, you know, take them out, take the content out of the, the capsule? Yeah. yeah, that's that's one good way to use it. So so that's an option. That's an option, definitely. Yeah. And although those are uh, uh, cellulose capsules, vegetable capsules. Yeah, vegetable and, um, capsules, good vegetable. stuff. Yeah, and, uh, uh, and what we are trying maybe can be interesting that we are trying to do to, to expand our, 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 our uh, field. And so we started to produce uh, bee products for animals, for pets. This is also something new uh, because um, we believe that there is a, a, a good way to, to help in many, f many medical fields, uh, veterinarian uh, for cats and dogs, dogs pr uh, mostly. So yeah. this is a new, new, new path, yeah. A, a new path, and if you if you know animal anatomy, you've you're, you're, that's really advanced medicine. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, 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 veterinarians have to study, you know, yeah. quite quite a bit, even sometimes beyond the scope of what's in uh, kind of traditional medicine. What have you noticed in the clinical trials with animals? Yeah, yeah. Well, well we uh, tested our products on. Um, on uh, uh, chicken, cape, on uh, piglets, um, fish, and uh, our our idea was to improve, um, especially in young young animals, uh, to improve uh, 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 um, health, to reduce mortality and morbidity. In every of those groups, we achieved to done that uh, using formula which we are using for human. So we started differently than pharmaceutical companies. I think. We, okay. we practically tested on a human and transferred yeah. it to the animal. Lime straws, okay. <laughs> so they are very <laughs> safe. Drink, <laughs> drink, <laughs> drink from the family well. You yeah. know, so, you know, that brings up something else. You know, you have, you have your own sole purpose. You have what you are born to do in realizing your personality, in your mind, in your body, in the experiences that you have in life to, to grow with. And and then 
all the individuals in your family have that too. So when you, you know, hearing family business, it's like, okay, well, it, you know, where, you know, where was the attraction? Was it something that you were kind of born into and you said, yes, I want this to be a part of my life? Or, you know, did you go off to medical school and your family said, no, come and also do this? <laughs> you know, was there a feud? Was, <laughs> you know, or did you say, you know, or did you kind of you share this vision or did you have to like find your own attraction into the family business? Like, what was that process? We just have a, a couple of minutes here. And how does your work, um, you know, how do you experience or perceive your work as it relates to your sole priorities right now? So if you well, can I feel about that, yeah. I understood your question, and it's <laughs> great to answer, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, 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 I'll get back to you, Tuaka. Uh, <laughs> next episode. This one, this one <laughs> way. Think about that. <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, my father, uh, we are a hard scientist family. My father is a chemist, and when I started uh, uh, in my uh, medical school, he he was doing experiments telling me what uh, Hedera is doing and I said I don't care about it that's not medicine that's nature that's allopath I don't know I, I, I didn't care about it to be honest till my third uh, uh, college year when I started with pharmacology which is very interesting and uh, and I was working uh, in, at pharmacology department for six years and I'm very well with drugs to me and yeah. um, Probably with maturity, when you understand the whole process, the industry, uh, uh, the market, the the difference between the countries, the influences, then I realize that my father is maybe not so old as it seems, and <laughs> he has something, <laughs> some good thoughts, and I started, <laughs> and I started to read. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 and I started to read uh, more articles about it and, and find out that, that there are uh, uh, serious and uh, profound uh, 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 scientific background of this product. And I was yeah. astonished because I didn't believe anything in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's that pre precious transition of, like, I'm, gonna, I'm a young man, I'm going to go do what I want to do, you know, I'm going to yeah. figure out the world all on my own to seeing your father as a man and yeah. to begin to appreciate what his knowledge you know as a man is and yeah. and and having kind of having those boundaries or that idealism break away so you can open up to to new truths and new possibilities I don't know, but um, but looking back, it, it, it was like that. I was very suspicious in this field. I was strictly, I would say, a, a, a medical believer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, <laughs> but when I realized all, I, I I changed a little bit. Not all, but I'm something in between now. I would yeah. say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm um, I'm glad that in your own life in your own um, process of balancing your medical knowledge, your experience in pharmaceutical uh, studies, your experience on the farm with your family, with Hedera, with the research and development, that you too, you know, like the bees, are opening up from isolated molecules for you personally to experience the 300, you know, spectrum to allow more of your, you know, soul to you know, come in and move you forward in your in your purpose. So I'm I'm honored to to meet you uh, today. And well, it, it was my extreme pleasure to be with you here, and, and, and I'm glad that you that you find out our website even <laughs> in Croatia. <laughs> Me too. You're, you're... It's my pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. Th thank you. I uh, I've yet to to visit your country. I've had some invitations. I would Beautiful. love to go. I know you sent me some some YouTube links with the uh, kind of Beyonce. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I know I know that was popular and and maybe too trendy, but again, 
I, I couldn't resist to send. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all right. It's, it's good for me to get a dose of popular and trendy now and then. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are a very young country and, uh, and uh, very small. And But for 1st of uh, July, we are entering EU, we'll be the members. So maybe it, it's a good way. I know I know we, we have to use popular methods. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, again, it's um, it's that balance of, of this full, full spectrum, you know, and that and that goes for everybody. It's like you know, exploring possibilities, um, and some people, you know, take new opportunities to an extreme before they find a balance and feel really feel what resonates with them, you know, or or what you know, was just kind of an interesting experience, you know, for if someone spends all their time in the library, they may never think about going to, you know, a, a football game. Yeah. And hanging out with people and drinking beer and being loud, you know, and that may completely overwhelm them. But, you know, what else does it kind of open up or teach them in, in their process? So, you know. <laughs> a very hard question, but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, just to let that one sound, it's it's rhetorical, really. But yeah. it, you know, the in the same way that you had to uh, that your family went out to meet the community mm -hmm. yeah. and and educate yeah. farmers, you also had to find a new language for that. You know, yeah. these farmers have been doing it their traditional way for potentially you know hundreds of years. Yeah. You know, and somebody's coming in and say, okay, now wash your hands and, you know, now consider this. But here's why. There, you know, there has to be, you know, a language <laughs> to, yeah, to establish yeah. new agreements. Um, that was very hard, to be honest, yeah. to give lectures in some villages and where people were gathering and trying to explain the importance of keeping clean the hive, washing hands, transfer... Uh, Protect the bees on the winter and on the winter and etc. <laughs> it was yeah. a good experience. Now we are uh, we are cooperating with more than three hundred of beekeepers. So. Yeah, it, it's so. fantastic. That's a good number. Three <laughs> three hundred spectrum, three hundred beekeepers. I so appreciate uh, your products. I have confidence in in, in what you're doing. Um, you know, particularly much. particularly the prop propolis. I feel that this is really where 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 you shine and I and I hope that um, you know our meeting also introduces your your work to many many more it's it's really good stuff so many blessings to you and to your family and I, I hope to meet you in in Croatia one day I would love to experience your country thank you very much for giving me opportunity to 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 meet you first and then to present our small company and our small products yeah yeah <laughs> It well, will be my pleasure to meet you in Croatia somewhere. I, yeah. I, I, I would love it, and I would love to swim in that length that lake that Beyonce swam. is <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. yeah, it was on the island of Huar. Yeah, it's it, it's gorgeous. So let's uh, let's have let's have that happen. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> you can teach me some more uh, Croatian and. Um, yeah, many blessings to you. Thank you, Thank so, you very much. Thank all you. right. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>